Stevenson gets a wild 96-95 overtime win over Albright. Glenn Clark with Coach Gary Stewart. Coach, this one was so entertaining that I'm about to lose my voice, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to try to describe exactly what we just witnessed out there today. That was utter chaos. It really was. Um, uh, we had five guards out there, so it wasn't a whole lot we could run. Uh, but our kids, uh, I mean, I'm, I couldn't be more proud of them. They made every play. Um, Evan um, not only hits the three to send in overtime, but he gets the rebound. Yeah. Um, so that's the big part of the play. Um, and then he knocks down the three. Um, we fought back uh, from a double-figure deficit. Uh, there are not many games you win when a, a team shoots 72% in the second half against you. Um, and credit Albright, they were, they were terrific. Um, you know, three guys in double figures, uh, three guys in their 20s. Uh, but, uh, but our kids found a way to win, and I'm going to keep uh, rubbing uh, this rabbit's foot. It really does seem like this was impossible. Like, the, you know, you talk about losing your leading scorer, um, who was dominating when he was on the floor, your second leading scorer having a tough night from the field, falling behind by 11 points. It, like, I feel like just the fact that they kept their spirit about them even if they hadn't come back to win the game, there would have been a lot of pride there. Yeah, we kept telling our guys, just keep hitting the rock. You know, just keep making a play on the offensive end and get a stop. Make a play, get a stop. And, and we kept talking about making some effort plays. And, and uh, we, you know, we didn't get any separation. I mean, we had some tough shots. And, um, again, credit our guys. Um, they were assertive and, and stayed committed to it. And, and, uh, and we needed everybody tonight. And, uh uh, thank God the, the clock uh, hit uh, zeros because uh, it was one of those games you felt like whoever had it at the end was going to win it. The, uh, the three from Evan Joseph to tie it, that was exactly the way you drew up that play, correct? That was Everything was exactly the way you called it. Yeah, it, it couldn't have gone any worse than it did. <laughs> um, uh, we, we wanted to, to get something on the backside. We, we felt like we, we got what we wanted. Uh, but Q uh, liked what he had. and. And uh, as you mentioned, he was struggling from the field and, and missed it. But Evan rebounded the backside and, and was alert, understood the situation. And, and uh, he's a kid that um, plays his best when his back is against the wall. You know, going back to high school and kicking one in in the state championship in soccer, um, he's just that type of guy. And um, he hit a big shot for us. And you needed guys that were willing to step up and be assertive as you were, you know, losing Mark and you had those struggles in the field. And it seemed like both Sean and Johnny Rhodes were guys who in different times said, okay, I'll go be the guy to go try to, you know, make the play in the paint. Yeah, we, we told our guys, look, um, it, it's not there today day from the, the perimeter. we got to put the ball on the floor. Uh, we got to put a few more touches on it. Um, and they had ten fouls of late in the um, – uh, excuse me, early part of the second half. So uh, we didn't have anything to lose by putting the ball on the floor and getting aggressive and and um, and, and trying to rim it. And uh, uh, and we got it from everybody. I mean, um, Cam Hayes, uh, excuse me, Cam Harris and uh, um, Montague, Sean. I mean, there wasn't a guy uh, that didn't put the ball on the floor and get to the rim, and, and we needed every single point. Uh, Coach, I, I don't know what you – I'm sure you can't tell us much about Mark, but I imagine it's going to be tough moving forward and – um, this is going to be a – you still have a couple big road games here, including one more in the conference. You're going to have to dig back in. Well, we built it as a team, and, and uh, uh, you know, we live in the city of next man up. So uh, we'll get Mark back at some point here, and, and um, we'll hope for good news and, and um, uh, you know, deal with it accordingly. Coach, congratulations on a wild, wild victory. We're not going to see you again until January, so have a, a great holiday and best of luck the rest of the month. Thank you, Glenn, and happy holidays to everybody out there. He is Coach Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.